I've been busy making acrylic skin flowers. If you haven't seen the last two videos on making acrylic skin sunflowers and poppies, check those out. Today, I'm gonna to show you some ideas of what to do with them. Now we could start with a very basic painting. We could use a base for a pore painting and then put our skins over the top. Very simple. Or we could do something like just make a simple painting with our flowers on a basic background. No problem. But today we are actually going to be doing a whole painting and bouquet with these flowers plus some other skins to show you just what you can do with your acrylic skins. Okay, I'm gonna be starting with a 12 by 24 black canvas that is pre-painted. So I'm gonna turn it around so it's easier to work with. This is a very long canvas and it's gonna have a lot of contrast. This is a skin. I have a collection of skins from Pore Painting and if you do too, you may have one like this. This is a marble skin. And I'm gonna be using this as a tabletop for the painting that I'm going to be creating. And this second skin is going to be the vase that's going to hold all of my flowers. So essentially I am creating a painting out of my skins and all the flowers that I've made and the skins I've collected. Now these skins will need to be cut to shape, starting with this tabletop. So we'll need to clean it up and give it a straight edge. And I'm gonna show you my process. Okay, I am just going to take a straight edge and one of these great little cutting mats, and I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife. You could use a pair of scissors, and I am just going to cut across my skin for a straight edge for a tabletop. And this is about the size of my canvas, so it should fit pretty much dead on and wrap a little bit. I'm also going to wrap the bottom, so I'm going to cut about a three inch wide piece for the bottom of my canvas. This by no means needs to be perfect, and if you've seen me cut before, you know I'm not the straightest cutter even with a straight edge but we're just going to take our three inches we're going to set it aside because we also need to cut our vase from our second skin so i have made a template of a vase it's just found one online and i blew it up to the size that i needed it for my canvas you can just google vase and find a template and that works great or you can draw it freehand and it should fit just perfectly on this skin and i'm just going to cut around it and I won't bore you with how long it took me to carefully cut around this to make sure the shape was correct. So it's just fast forwarded, but here we go. Here is our vase. It's kind of awesome, actually. I love this skin, it has a lot of gold in it. So now I am going to take my marbleized skin, it's gonna go on the bottom, and make sure that it can fit. Now these skins have some stretch to them, so you can stretch them if you're a little bit short, just be careful and not tear a hole in it. So now I have the tabletop and now I have the vase and we're just gonna make it a little bit off center so it's more visually pleasing, a little more interesting. Okay, now we can start beginning to build our arrangement. So off to the side, I have a lot of acrylic skin sunflowers and poppies and some leaves that were made. If you haven't seen the videos on how to make these acrylic skin flowers, they also make great clings, then please check out the last two videos that I put out on how to make acrylic skin sunflowers and how to make acrylic skin poppies. And I am just going to be working these flowers around. I actually have off to the side also where I have done this once trying to figure out how I'm going to arrange it. So I've got a picture to kind of remind me of how I put them together. And I'm just going to place them around. And here I'm adding a leaf. This leaf is very dark for the background. It's a dark green. It doesn't show up quite as well. But I am going to put a leaf underneath since arrangements usually do have leaves. And these are fairly small leaves for a sunflower. So these are fairly small sunflowers. So I'm going to be adding poppy. I really like the contrast between the red and the yellow of the sunflowers. So I use both to build the arrangements and I also have some daisy-like flowers. I did not have a video on how to make those. If you'd like to see a video on how to make the daisies as acrylic skins, then let me know and I can make a video. Just leave information down in the comments below and I will see it and get back to you. I have some poppies that are turned to the side and this one actually has a stem, so I'm just gonna lay it on top and then I will cut the stem later. And I'm just gonna continue to build. Now I have quite a few flowers and it does take quite a few. Here is a side view 
sunflower or it could be a cone flower. And I'm just gonna continue to build my flowers into a bouquet. And it's kind of up to you how you would like to do it if you have lots of these skins. You can also cut flowers in pieces if you have skins that you have from pore painting or that you've made. These are directly made into flowers. It's just pore paint that is put on freezer paper in the shape of a flower and then let to dry. So you can make your own flowers and I may do a video on that from your existing skins and you just have to be very patient when you make your flowers, but it's a fun craft to do. So I'm gonna kind of let you see how this comes about and morphs into a bouquet. It took me a while to figure out where I was going with this, but let me speed that up to show you how things come about. Okay, let me just pause a moment to show you what I'm doing here. I am putting in poppy buds. These are unopened buds just to add some more realism into my bouquet. If you saw me make these when I was making the poppies, that's what I'm putting in right now. They have long stems, so I'm probably going to have to cut those off, but I want to make sure they're arranged and I'll be playing with those until I get them right. And there's another uh, poppy. This one is starting to open, as you see the red in the poppy. So. I am putting those in right now and they gave me some trouble because there's some leaves and stems attached and I have to remove the leaves um, at a point in the future. So it's taking a lot of finagling to get this done but in the end you're going to see an awesome result. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up this arrangement with a few extra leaves down at the bottom. I'm trying to be careful while I'm lifting. And now I'm going to need to start the process of gluing down my arrangement. And that is by using the Diamond Glaze Water-Based Dimensional Adhesive. I use that a lot for acrylic skin projects. And so I am going to have to carefully lift up all of these skins and put just a little bit of Diamond Glaze. Diamond glaze may buckle some of your skin, so use it very sparingly. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But if you use just a little bit, then you won't have as much trouble. You definitely don't want to glob this stuff on when you're doing this type of project. So it does dry clear, but you may have some trouble with the, the buckling. It does happen. And you don't want to ruin your project. If you have a glue that you like to use, please do. If you have little cuts or little tears in your acrylic skin, once you put the diamond glaze on there, it really will seal it up. You won't be able to see where any of the tears are. Now I have to go around this entire arrangement, that it's the vase and all of the flowers. You don't have to hit every single flower in every place, but you do need to make sure that they are stuck down so that you can put something over the top some, something that will protect it. In this case, I will probably resin it. It's probably the safest thing to do. You may use other kinds of protectorants or glazes, but be careful that they do not buckle your skins because I have had certain things to buckle my skins. You can even put diamond glaze over the top of your acrylic skins and that will definitely protect them if you have a big bottle of that and it dries perfectly clear. So here it is. This is it completed after I have glued it down. I have not put the resin on it yet, and I'll show you a picture of it while it's sitting up. There it is. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below.